Hello everyone, it's me, Janus Rasmussen here with another episode of Production Tricks. Today I'm gonna go through five of my favorite tips how to make your kicks and basses play together like they're good buddies. Before we do that, uh, remember to subscribe and click that bell button. Leave me a comment if you like the video and then let's just jump right into the video. The first tip is about the relationship between the length of your kick and the length of your bass sounds. Let's take a look. Here I have a template for a track and one of them has a long kick and a short stabby bass line. Let's listen to that together. So that works really well because the kick is long and the bass is pretty short and stabby. So let's try another example. I get a long bass line, like a bass line that's playing long, long uh, notes and then a shorter kick here. It sounds like this. So we could try here to do, um, to uh, mute the short kick and unmute the longer kick. It could work, but it's going to be a little bit more messy. The other way around. So basically the idea is if you have a short kick, use longer bass notes. If you have a long kick, use shorter bass notes and you should have good results just there. Tip number two. It's just a good old side chaining and if you make electronic music, this tip is essential. Let's find Ableton's stock compressor, load it up to the bass line, open it up right there, click on the side chain, audio from, pick the short kick and then let's dial it in. You can go all crazy on it and just let it pump endlessly a lot. Or just find the sweet spot for it. You know, don't don't kill the bass line completely. If you want the sidechain to be a little bit more snappy, make the release time shorter. Or if you want it to take a little bit longer time to recover, make the release time a little bit longer. Tip number three, instead of using a regular compressor to sidechain with, we can use a multiband compressor. Let's take a look at that. So here's how you do your multibands side chaining. You go into your kick, send it out to your bass, and then you pick the side chain of the fat filter I wanna use. Go into your long bass, open up your fat filter, make a point, and then go down here and pick the side chain. Make this point dynamic like that, and then open up the auto here, enable the side chain button there. Now it should work. <laughs> So now it's only side chaining to the kick on this region. Uh, this is 50 or 60. You could also do it only at the top if you want to. Or whichever you want. You can also expand it. So that every time the kick plays, it actually amplifies this region. If you would want to do that, I don't know. Another plugin I really like to use is called Track Spacer. And the way you set that up is you just go down to here, the side chain, you pick the short kick that I have, and already it's gonna work like this. And then you can tell it which frequencies it shouldn't uh, affect to the high cut like this. Now it's only affecting from 140 down. Tip number four. I often get asked where I find my kick sounds, and I'll let you in a little sacred here, so let's take a look. Listen to this kick here. It's pretty good, right? But let's see what I actually did to achieve this kick. That's all I did. If I take this off... Put it back on. Basically, this is what I do to almost all my kicks. It's just roll off some of the high ends. And here we go to my final fifth tip. It's about how you can use your eyes to make your kicks work in your mixes. As you see, the kick here sounds like this. It's pretty long and I could see that because I could see the waveform here in the arrangement. So for example, if I want to shorten this one, just literally do it like that, make a fade. Copy it over. And you just really can see how long it is. 
if your kicks are really long and they're almost touching the next beat. And it's especially really helpful for people that have maybe a, their room is not that uh, well treated acoustically, so you don't really hear how long the tails of your kicks are. For example, this one could easily be a little bit short knit in. And I keep, sometimes I just do this over and over until it sits right in the mix. All right, have some fun with these tips. Until next time, toodle hoo. See you later.